My name is Stuart Gill, I'm the course superintendent here at Terry Hills Golf and Country Club. I have been since 2008 and I'm trusted with the overseeing the maintenance of the golf course and the sewage treatment plant. So yeah, Terry Hills Golf Club is an 18 hole championship golf course and it's located approximately 30 minutes drive north of Sydney CBD. Um, it's also backs onto Karingai National Park and it's about 10 minutes to the beach actually. It's a private golf course um, and I guess what makes it a little bit different to the regular membership golf course is that it's not owned by the members, it's owned by a, an owner and that owner um, is a very keen golfer and he's committed to the continued improvement of the golf course as well as the clubhouse and all the facilities that come with it. The fact that we back onto the National Park obviously brings its own limitations in our environmental management as well. There's things that we need to look after like the wallabies that run around the golf course in the morning, um, snakes in the afternoon, uh, basking in the sun. <laughs> Obviously the amount of birds that are around the place as well make it a really enjoyable environment really. So we had a, a sewage treatment plant that covers not only the clubhouse facilities but also covers 30 homes that are part of the residential estate that back onto the golf course as well. Well, it originally went to a, a disc system and that was rotated discs just chopped up the solids and then that went through all these chambers before it went out into a holding pond. The problem we had was that the rotating disc didn't always rotate. So I guess that was just an age, because it was an aging system and the fact that the pins and bolt, nuts and bolts were uh, uh, corroding over time and there was a lot of um, unreliability about the system so we had a permit to operate and part of that permit stipulated that we had to send water analysis results to the local authorities every three months. They gave us the parameters that we had to meet and over the years that slowly we weren't meeting those parameters maybe you know we were getting further and further away from the parameters every time we were getting a water analysis so I guess that highlighted the problem that we had and um, it was good that you were able to put a figure on it. So what we were looking for was a system that we could basically add in without pulling the whole system out. It was something that we wanted to use as much of the existing infrastructure and system that was already there, I guess to keep costs down as well, but also to minimise the footprint. With Biogill, it offers the opportunity to add more towers if you want to further improve water quality if your volumes increase um, and other systems just don't offer that. One of the main benefits has to be the smell. We used to get a lot of complaints from our members about the aroma coming from the sewage treatment plant, especially on a very hot day. Um, and now you've got to say there's no smell at all. Uh, another thing, the holding pond that's right next to the sewage treatment plant you could pretty much walk on that with the amount of algae that was on that and within a few weeks that algae was starting to break up and now after a year we don't have any algae whatsoever on that pond. This is the first time we've been able to send results to uh, the local authorities safe in the knowledge that we've met the criteria that we have never been able to meet in the last couple of years. I guess one of the main cost benefits of the biogrill system is the fact that you can just add it on um, to the in existing infrastructure that you already have. So if there's other clubs out there that are looking at improving or upgrading their own current system um, and are looking for a cost effective way to do it and they're looking to just add on to what infrastructure they've already got, the biogrill system certainly works that way.